Good morning. Welcome to Cardinal Steel Manufacturing. It's 11 a.m. Central Standard Time here in Webb City, Missouri at the factory. Uh, today is about the portable armor truck scale. Uh, we can't show, wait to show you the benefits of this scale. We have two speaker guests with us today. We have Luke Richards from Accurate Scale in Kansas City and John Wells from Industrial Scale in Houston. Now, I'm sure they will share with you their excitement over the armor portable truck scale. Very quickly, I want to show you how we got there. Back in 1997, we knew we needed a new digital portable truck scale. So we created what we call the stainless steel double-ended Sherbeen blood cell, all made here in Webb City, Missouri, with completely sealed uh, cavities on the load cell. And it was a double-link suspension, though. And back then, that's what we had to offer. And to show you what the EPR portable truck scale used to be like is this is a competitor's link, but we had a linkage system within that portable truck scale. And linkage systems, of course, on any portable truck scale can have debris build up. So just one troublesome spot that we'd like to get rid of here in the very future under our new design. I'd like to show you right now a couple of brand new armor truck scales that are out there in the field. These are in aggregate locations that are down in South Texas. This dealer, r r Scale, loves the new Armor Portable Truck Scale. So in aggregate locations, it's very important that you try to find a way to do away all the debris that can affect the, the weight of the load cell, of the scale, uh, because these are in very isolated locations. The next one is a brand new one that they just put in, they're very proud of. And you can see that Armor LF portable truck scale is on a compacted surface. So not much preparation has to go in before you put in a new Armor truck scale. So we want to thank R&R &R for sending in these images. You see the lower frame, you see the Cardinal logo, and you see the guide rails. And this is a brand new one that just went into place. And you see the compacted surface in which they were able to set the Armor portable truck scale. So now let's go forward and look a little bit about what we've done to create the Armour Portable Truck Scale. So as I said that we had the EPR model since 1997. That scale was a high performing scale for us for 20 years until 2017. We looked at it and we said, okay, let's take the best of what we got within the EPR and apply it to the Armour LF lower frame truck scale, we'll call it the portable truck scale. So we have the best performance for the customer and the distributors. So what we did was we said, okay, let's get away from this troublesome linking, linkage assembly that can cause debris. And what we did is we created an all new double ended shear beam load cell that is now patented IP69. What does that mean? That means it's sealed from the inside out. So anytime you look at a portable truck scale, you look at an environment where it may get a lot of rain, a lot of dust, a lot of debris, does not affect this load cell. Then we created a new stand. This new stand has an axis centering point. So there is no checking required within the portable scale. All the checking is done right here. And when we created this chromium ball that this load cell sits on, we basically is a self-cleaning device. So anything, any debris that gets in around that load cell, that ball will wipe it away. So the new load cell is statically mounted within the bridge. So it doesn't move and there's no linkage assembly. So there's nothing below the scale to affect the weight. So that's one great improvement for the new Armour portable truck scale. Secondly, when we had the double-ended shear beam analog load cell, we had the junction box in the scale, which created power requirements to the scale. Anytime you're putting in a portable truck scale in a remote area, in a quarry, uh, in a gravel pit, power is always a problem. So what we did was we took power away from the scale. So when I install an armor truck scale, all I'm required to install is the truck scale and the home run cable from the number one load cell to the reliable 225 indicator. That's a powerful, powerful statement. Now, I wanna show you the bridge assembly that comes with the armor truck scale. You'll see that it includes 12 
14, 12 inch, 14 pound I-beams that go all the way to a one inch end wall. This is the same way with our standard steel deck truck scale or our portable armor truck scale. The next feature we'd like to show you is the actual load cell itself in placement. Remember I mentioned there's nothing below the scale. So as sand, debris, base rock fall under the scale, it does not impede upon the weight. That's it, there's nothing else. So it's that load cell, a one home run gable, it goes to a 225D indicator, no power at the scale, no junction box, that's what you see. This is a really neat feature of the armor truck scale and the portable, is the cavity of where the load cell is and the cover plate is so small. You see here is a good example of how the load cell is statically mounted to the bridge with two bolts, so the load cell is not moving. If the load cell doesn't move, it can't break. And there's a cover plate that will go over that load cell and the cable to protect it from debris that may fall through the cover plate down into the scale. So now we've met some of the goals that we set out to place back in 2017 with the armor. We eliminated power to scale, we eliminated the junction box, we eliminated the linkage assemblies. Oh, there are still others out there in the field that try to use column based load cells that are down on the surface of the, the scale. Not a good thing. Linkage assemblies, not a good thing. We've proven that the armor is a superior portable truck scale for all of our distributors. Now, what's so important about this is that it is operating from a 225D indicator. Now, here is the important thing, and you'll hear the other guys speak about that today. When we ship the armor portable truck scale, we fully calibrate it right here in the factory. And when they get that truck scale and they put it in service within about 30 minutes at a remote location, typically they never enter calibration on the indicator. They simply check the weights, make sure it's in within two divisions that we calibrated here, and they, they're up and operating. The customer loves it. However, let's show you an example. Let's say we've got the armor portable truck scale, we put it out on the customer site, and it may not be just a really good positioning of the scale, and that may be require a little bit of calibration. Now, I'm not a technician. The goal that we set out for when we created this new truck scale was to make something very easy for the technician, any technician you may have on staff. So since I'm not a technician, I wanna show you just how easy it is to calibrate the truck scale if required. So just shift and enter, and then I touch number five and enter, and I'm actually in Smart Cal now. So if for some reason you needed to check the scale, run your weights, Smart Cal is so simple, it's like 20 minutes to calibrate the scale. Place the weights over each individual load cell all the way to the end and hit enter and you're finished. Once you're finished, just exit that program and you're out of calibration and back to seeing weights. Now what you're seeing on screen right now happens to be three weights in totals because we're using a simulator. There's a reason for that and I'll talk about it in a minute. Now, once this scale is out operating, maybe a month later, the customer calls you and says, it's not weighing right, we have something going on. Well, remember, a portable truck scale is in an isolated area, and you may be a long distance from that truck scale, so you're not sure what you're gonna go look for. You can actually have that customer do a self-diagnostics for you. So hold down the shift key and touch cell diagnostics, and it will actually go into the diagnostics to show you what may be affecting the weight on the scale. So your technician or you know immediately what to look for when you get out on site. Now I'm simply gonna exit that right now. Now, also I wanna point out that if this customer has a 225, and which they would have a 225, they're in an isolated area, a lot of times they don't have a lot of PCs, a lot of ways to get weight data, we have a brand new feature now for the 200 series indicator. We've had it out a couple of years, called a 2XX USBA card. And what it is, is this little card can be located inside the indicator. And can we see the back of this indicator right now? This card is inside the indicator, and this would be replaced in this hole right here, which is a thumb drive. 
okay? So the manager can come out to site once a week, once a day, pull that thumb drive out, put in a new thumb drive, and take this data back to his office, okay? Take that back to his office, load it in a PC, and it writes just a simple CSV file that turns into a Excel sales spreadsheet. So they have all the data they need from all the quarries uh, and all the customers that come into their scale. So now we provided you a, an indicator that's very easy to calibrate, very easy to maintain, and gives you the data that you need for those isolated sites. Once again now, you see the strapping. Now when we ship a truck scale, we ship the Armor Portable Truck Scale, we ship it with straps, which is very, very important because you can move that scale from one location to another. Another neat thing about the Armor Truck Scale is that we build and we can provide remote displays if required. Now, what you're seeing today is a new advertisement for a new feature that we have available. Whether it's a portable scale or whether full static scale, what's important, let's think about multi-platform truck scales. If you need to show three weights and totals on a platform, multiple platform scale, before now, you would need four of these displays, and that can get costly. We now have a four quad SP600 standard out of the box, and the 220, the 220 indicator also has a software in it. So if you need to replace a scoreboard for a multi platform scale, just get the 220 with the new software and get the SP600. And there's, you can remove the card here on the side, adjust it to four quad display, and there you've got it. You've got a simple, very cost efficient SP600 with three scales and total. That is very, very important. And in fact, I didn't think about it for portable truck scales, but one of our dealers who's going to speak with us a bit, uh, a bit later, he said they actually take the two end modules of a portable truck scale and estimate axle weights, and they need something like this. So that will work for them. Now, we spoke about the simplicity of the armor truck scale. As we get ready to ship it to you, which means a lot to our dealers, we include the strap kit that you see there. So this scale is totally strapped, totally placed together, so you can move it from site to site to site. That strap is free of charge and just for you. The Armor Portable Truck Scale carries a very serious advantage for the customer. It's called, if the customer needs it three to six months, it's generally only a $3,000 to $4,000 investment for the customer to place a portable truck scale immediately on their property in that quarry and be up and running. If you placed a static truck scale or sold them a static truck scale for that limited time quarry, you could be $55,000, $60,000. Many of the customers now that rent the Armor Portable Truck Scale, after they've had it for two or three months, they say, hey, I think I want to buy it because when I'm finished with this contract, I may want to move it to another location. Now, what's really neat about this is that we've got some distributors with us today. One is Luke from Accurate Scale in Kansas City. He gives us a great story about how he loves the Armor Truck Scale and the benefits that it has for him. Luke, are you there with us today? Is Luke out there? Oh, hi, Luke, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. You've heard all of the neat things about the Armor Portable Truck Scale. Tell us, tell us exactly what you think about the scale. We just build it, manufacture it, and ship it and sell it to you. You're the one that really uses it. So tell us, uh, tell us all about it. Well, uh, right now we've got two 70 foot uh, rental, rental portable scales in our fleet and I love them. They're a super great scale. They're easy to service. They're easy to maintain. Uh, the great thing is if you, uh, if you think about the site time it takes to install one start to finish, we can get one put in in about six hours. So that means if you're really chomping at the bit, we can have it delivered and installed in six hours and you're up and going. And so that's pretty huge. That, uh, I have a question for you. Now, I can generally have the scale up and running in 30 or 40 minutes. So a lot of it is site preparation where they've got to get base 
up against the ends of the scales to be able to get ready to weigh. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. Yep. Yep. There's also some site preparation, which since you touched on that, one of the things that we learned from our first portable that we got that we didn't get it with the wing kit. And on the second portable we did, which the wing kit helped out tremendously on building the ramps on the both approach ends of the truck scale. It can be done without them, but they're sure a lifesaver with it. You guys will see a, a picture of the wing kit he's talking about pretty soon. When Luke and I were talking last week, he said, I wish I'd have bought a wing kit on the first portable truck scale that I bought. So uh, that's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's just a, it's really just setting the bar above any other manufacturer. I mean, the, like I said, the install time, there's no boxes. The, uh, the conduit that comes standard, you can just take that interconnect cable and just push it through with your hand. You don't even have to run a snake or anything like that. And it, it just goes together super great. Uh, the calibration is very simple. The, the adjustment time on load cells is so minimal. It, it's just a really good thing. And the troubleshooting, if, you, if you're renting one of our portable truck scales and you may have an issue, which is very seldom because it's such good equipment, but we can be out there and pretty much service anything on that scale in under an hour. Well, with your weather, inclement weather and such you have in the Kansas City and the Midwest, not having the junction box in the scale anymore has got to be significant for you. And especially since you may have one of the new service techs going out to look at the scale, you need something simple for him to understand, right? Yeah. 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 And the, the troubleshooting from a service technician standpoint, uh, you guys have really hit the nail on the head. I mean, You've got the Nest system, which is super great. But the nice thing is, is if you don't have that with you on site, it's still very tech friendly to service. Oh, with the Nest, oh, with the Nest itself. And what yeah, Luke is mentioning is the, we're not talking about it today, but we do have the Nest. The Nest allows you to see each individual load cell cable uh, that's running in series within the scale and test it and validate where you may have a problem. So between the simplicity of the diagnostics on the indicator, which Luke's attesting to in the nest, it's uh it's pretty much carefree scale. Yeah. Yeah. So man. who who is uh who's a classic customer of yours right now on your rental scales? What do they do? Uh, right now they're both in rock quarries. So uh they're seeing substantial loads daily and they, they hold up great with that I beam construction. And those uh, those big underbody frames, uh, they just do an amazing job. I mean, they're mine are sitting on a compact gravel surface, and they they packed it in pretty good. But uh, with those lower frames in there, they're they're just doing an incredible job of weight. So you in the past you've used our EPR portable truck scale and others. So I think the absence, the absence, and I'm going to ask you a question because I'm preaching it up here. The absence of not having a linkage assembly and with base rock and debris, it makes it a lot easier to keep the head assembly clean, does it not? Yes, yes, it, it does keep debris uh, away from the load cell stands much better. And really with, with the new uh, bolt construction, instead of having the linkage, Putting in a load cell is way easier because you just put your ram in there, lift it up, you remove two bolts, pop the new load cell in, put the two bolts back in, set it down. Instead of having to juggle all that linkage like uh, like before and like many other manufacturers, it's you guys have taken all the work out of it. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, I know that uh, we've done a video here before, and if you ever did require to change a load cell, it's about three and a half to four minutes because you simply take the pressure off the ball, which is about a half inch, and take the two bolts out, put a new load cell in, the two bolts in, and drop it back down. Is that right, Luke? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. And these these digital portables are just great because when I'm when I'm bidding brand new truck scales, stationary truck scales, I got a lot of customers that they're running 24/7. 
and they just don't have the time to not be able to weigh trucks and being able to say hey i've got a portable truck scale i can have set down on the ground and you can have zero downtime uh, that that really just puts smiles on faces i look forward to your for your to your next order and i know that you're going to run into one of those customers pretty shortly that wants to uh, after they use this uh, portable armor for a couple of months they're going to say hey I want to buy this and use it for my next contract for my next job i see that coming down the road pretty soon for you well i mean with uh with a customer whether it be recycling or aggregate or anything like that if you've got multiple locations and multiple truck scales if if there's a rental scale that you can have sat down and have you up and going if there's serious work that needs to be done on your regular scale that that's quite an option that's outstanding Luke, I want to thank you for being on with us today, and I look forward to our four o'clock session yep. and uh, your your outstanding information, because the people who are on with us today, they will believe you because you're out there in the field doing it, and that's important for them to hear the message of what you're doing. So uh, thanks a lot, Luke, and hang on, and we'll talk about some new features that we have now for the Armor Portable Truck Scale. All right, great. So, thank you, Fred. Yeah, we appreciate it. So Luke, who has put in several of our 70-foot armors, when he purchases his next 70-foot armor, he might just purchase this optional spacer kit. Why is this spacer kit so important? It's about a foot in length, okay? But you can purchase a 70-foot truck scale and this one spacer kit and create three specific scales that we're gonna show you on screen. The very first one at the top is where I've actually taken the bulkhead off of the other end of module and placed it on the original number one module. And I've created just a pickup truck wire. So from your rental fleet, you can create three different scales. So number one, I'm weighing the pickup trucks. Number two is I may have a customer at a quarry that just simply wants to weigh dump trucks. And he only needs a scale that's 50 some foot long. Well, that spacer kit, that one foot spacer kit that we're mentioning now, that has the standard connectors for the two end bridges to mount to, it can be added to the two end units to create one scale. And simple as that. So I, now I can do dump trucks. If I wanted to do full, complete 18 wheelers, then I'll simply set down my two bridges in my center bridge, right back down into the two, and add the full 70 foot armor lf truck scale so all of a sudden now a 70 foot armor portable truck scale becomes a three in one which is a tremendous investment for you so that your customer can meet any application that they require so when you stock that 170 foot scale you've actually got three scales in one here is the end wall approach that we were talking about a few minutes ago with luke this is really nifty this in wall design, we took in consideration what do you require. At the very top of the side, you'll see where the bracket slips in for the yellow uh, braiding, uh, the yellow cable or the yellow strapping for loading and moving the scale around. You'll also see below that a larger square area. That serves two purposes. Number one, as I said, there's no moving linkage or no moving parts below the load cell, but there is debris that gets in there. So that's an area in which now you can clean debris very easily. Or as Luke said, if I'm make, gonna make a quick load cell change, that is also an area where you can slip a jack into to raise up that end module and in fact, to replace that load cell. But most significantly, what Luke said was that, oh, I should have ordered the wing kits with my very first truck scale. So what you see on the end there on the end module is the wing. So this wing kit that would go on each end of the truck scale allows you to place the base rock up against the scale without it running over the sides. So the wing kit is a great value to you and your customer. Next is the next option. Wow, this is the split ramps that you can get to add any portable armor truck scale. This one is down in Texas. IWCS, one of our dealers down in way south Texas, down near Mexico, has placed this full armor truck scale with ramps at a petroleum site down in the Gulf. 
and they have to weigh all of the trucks as they come across uh, before they go south into Mexico. Now, they bought the portable truck scale so they could move it from each location within the Gulf, within the port there. So when they're finished at a job there with those tanks, they can simply move that scale to another location. So this gives you a really good idea of the ramps. This is probably one of the neatest applications I've seen in a long time. So Kevin at K-Scale, he had a customer called Western Construction. They had a big job coming up. They did not have a scale house, but they needed to track the materials coming across. They said, hey, I need an uninhibited system with my portable truck scale. So what we provided to Kevin, as we do custom jobs here every day at Cardinal, we, can, we provided him bracketing that would allow him to mount the satellite unattended system to that lower support of the armor truck scale. And what we did, and of course he added the little steps going up to it, but here's where it got important. He has new drivers, Western Construction has new drivers that come across the scale. How does he track them? Well, they use our mobile app now. They will actually call Western Construction and say, I have a load here for you. So what ID number do you want me to enter in? So now from their mobile app, they're simply entering in the ID of their truck and they're tracking the weights that come across that portable armor truck scale. They were so pleased and so excited about the first one, they now have placed two of these at two different quarries for Western Construction. So this was a great advantage up for the customer, a great advantage up for IW, for uh, K-Scale, uh, and able to provide them a custom scale that no one else could. So we thank them very much for this creative installation using our mobile app. Now, next in line, I have a gentleman with us today named John Wells of Industrial Scale. John loves the Armor Truck Scale and has been doing a lot of our portable scales down the Houston area. Of course, you know the Houston area is a very inclement area, so they need all the benefits that we've talked about. John, are you out there with us today? Come on and see me, yes, John. Yes, sir, I am. How are you? Great, sir. How, are you, Bob? How about yourself? I am good. Can you kind of reaffirm for us everything that we've said so far and your success of the Armor Portable Truck Scale? Well, to be honest, it actually kind of sells itself once you kind of see it all in motion. But uh, one of the nicest things we like to see out of the portable truck scale is the fact that it's very versatile. You can put it just about anywhere, any type of surface. Uh, with the robust lower platform of the scale, it can actually hold up to, you know, lighter weight material groundings, but it's always best to put it on solid foundations and uh, very quick and easy to put in. Uh, we've put them in many different types of locations. Uh, I have two of them in my rental fleet. Uh, I have done it to where the customer scale has, you know, collapsed and no longer in use and needed to scale up and run in, in a scrap yard that day because he's losing money by the hour and was able to get our rental truck scale over there and set up in just a few hours put it in place, run a truck on it. Normally they're right on the money and no major calibrations needed. Um, I also ended up buying a second one in between that time of why we were waiting on his brand new scale to come in and put it over at an oil and gas company and they ran it for a big project and they started calling and asking for actually a second one. Well, it kind of lucked up. Our New truck scale came in and we actually moved our portable over from the recycling company to the oil and gas company the same day, had them up and running two of our rental truck scales running nonstop. So we actually had one day where we put in a brand new scale, removed our portable and installed it all on a customer's site in one day. John, you were so mentioning they're earlier. pretty they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, yesterday it was interesting. John was not aware of our one foot spacer. So he said, I wish I would have bought that. Yep. So probably the next time he buys another rental scale, uh, uh, an armor portable truck scale, he'll probably buy that one foot spacer, which he can now also use within his other two scales if he needs to rent a shorter 
uh, portable truck scale, right? I may not even wait that long. So <laughs> on, my, on my next scale order, just have one shipped in to go in on my portable truck scale is here now. On the image, on image right now, I show the uh, 26 inch side rails. Can we all see that, Asia? And the beautiful thing about that was I was talking to John earlier today after our first presentation. He said, you know, you really need to point out this is the best side rail design that Cardinal has ever had. Because I, I really I mentioned very, very softly that if you did damage the side rail, we on the side rail brackets, it's just a mild steel bolt. So if you do bump, bump one of those side rails, it simply breaks the bolt. So just go out and buy a new bolt, lift the side rails up and put the bolt in. But John was mentioning a couple of three other competitors that if you hit the side rail, you pretty much have destroyed it. In the case of the armor truck scale system now, you don't. It simply shears off the bolt and it falls over and just replace the bolt. Is that correct, John? Yes, and what's uh, pretty neat is nine times out of ten, the customer already has replacement bolts just laying around anyway that they can use to put it back in place. Uh, I can't tell you how many times we've done service calls just to go out, realize their side rail has been damaged, and we can go the route of completely replacing it, waiting for it to come in, or bringing it back to the shop, doing some cutting and welding and having to fix it back up, and just spending thousands of dollars trying to get them back up and running for the side rail. So hands down, it is pretty amazing. You were mentioning earlier, I believe on the last session, that when we ship the armor portable truck scale, we're normally within two divisions. And in Texas then, generally, you really don't, and once you put the weights on it, if the scale is within tolerance, you don't really need to go through the process of calibration or anything, is that correct? Uh, exactly. Um, obviously, we've never ran into one that was out of tolerance, but obviously the customer is expecting to be right on the money for any time we put on a brand new scale. So if it is a division or two off, we're able to quickly go in, make a quick little change and have it on the money where that customer is actually wearing what they're supposed to be wearing. That's a great advertisement. It's because you guys saw a few minutes ago. I was actually leaning over the, the, the 225 indicator upside down and got into calibration. That was just how easy it was to get in smart cal on the 225. So that's really great testimony. And you see there on screen now, we just showed putting test weights on the scales before we ship them. So we want to thank John for all of his efforts and uh, work for us and presentation on the armored truck scale. So, uh, John, I want to thank you very much. I appreciate you being on with us. Can I add one more thing real quick? Oh, um, absolutely. For anybody that's actually, they're not quite ready to put in a permanent truck scale, they can always go in and purchase the portable truck scale, and they can have it set in place and up and running before they actually bring in foundation and do a concrete work, because they can always remove the lower frame and use it as a versatile type of scale. So if the customer only needs it in one location for six months or less, they can easily move it to their their permanent location uh, for a permanent uh, foundation to be able to be full legal for trade. So, and that's kind of where we come in handy too, and or you just rent them out. So if anybody needs one, I got two of them in stock. I just got them back in. They're ready to go back out. Great. So John Wells of Industrial Scale of Houston's got two rentals sitting in the yard if you need one. So, hey, we appreciate it, John, and uh, you have a great, uh, wonderful day, and I'll see you at 4 o'clock again. Yes, sir. Have a good one. See you. Appreciate it. Before we go any forward, uh, any further, I just want to point out a couple of things that we realized was that with the, with the creation of the new Armour Portable Truck Scale in 2017, we've eliminated all the debris issues. Uh, we've made something that's very easy to repair for John and Luke, when they were speaking with us, we were we replaced the actual junction box from the scale. So no power to the scale at these remote locations for a rental, just the home run cable to the 225. And typically, as we calibrate the scale in the factory, you don't even have to go into calibration of the 225. And we offer the very simple USB device for data storage for truckloads as they come in on a daily basis. 
So we appreciate you being with us today for the presentation of the Armour Portable Truck Scale. We definitely want to thank John and Luke for being on with us to tell us their stories. And we're going to videotape this, and this will be available for anyone that would like to view it at a later time. So once again, thank you for joining Cardinal. We appreciate your business, and we're here to serve you at any time. Have a great day.